Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. Today, this episode is being done from my bed. Uh, I'm feeling under the weather, bonnet, robe. You might you might have thought I was just winding down, but I'm really feeling under the weather. But I decided to still try to show up for you guys as well as show up for myself. So I'm still going to push through and I'm going to give you guys an episode this week. Might be a midnight episode. Don't know because it's already very late because I had to pull together some energy, some strength. Either way. I'm here, I'm we're gonna push through. And on this week's episode of Wine Down Wednesday, I wanted to talk about the phrase, no new friends. No new friends, no new friends, no if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now and make sure that you have your post notification bell turned on so you are notified each and every time that I post a new video. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you guys know now this is gonna be a very short and to the point video. Of course, I don't have any wine today, but I am drinking some good old tea. I just wanna start by saying, I'm the biggest believer in not everybody's your friend right you meet people you encounter people in different parts of your journey but everybody is not your friend and again I said I was gonna get straight to the point so I'm just gonna go right ahead and talk about no new friends or the phrase no new friends I outlook on it and then of course as I say in each and every video I always want your input down below in the future, we're going to talk about many more topics revolving around friendships. But for today, in general, we are just going to be talking about the phrase, no new friends. As much as I feel like everybody is not your friend, I personally cannot sit here and say that I, that I believe in the phrase, no new friends. Because you're going to have childhood friends, you're going to have school friends, high school friends, college friends, work friends. You know, whatever your career path is. If you're an actress, you're going to meet friends in the business. If you are a performer, an athlete, or anything like that, you're going to meet people in your life and you're going to build relationships with people eventually. So you're going to have friends. Of course, you don't call everybody your best friend and you don't tell everybody every single thing about your life. But it's impossible not to gain new friends in your adult life. So, yeah you're gonna get some new friends we're gonna enter new rooms right we're gonna enter new opportunities we're gonna enter new phases of our life so we're gonna meet people along those journeys certain jobs you will meet people who are genuine and who you can really call a friend outside of work and i can personally speak for myself i've met people at certain jobs again not every job we don't go to work for friends but Sometimes things happen and you end up building relationships with people. I can speak for myself where I've had one or two jobs where I've met people that to this day I call them my friend. I also feel like you acquire new friends in your adult life because your friend group is not going to have everything in common, right? Yeah, you got them, you got some friends who's like, they with whatever you with and you with whatever they with. Y'all could party together, y'all could go to church together, y'all could laugh together, cry together, go grocery shopping together. Just go to each other's house and lay in the bed and watch Lifetime, Law & Order, Netflix, all of that, right? Concerts, go out to eat, all that. You have some friends that you know you can call to go to that retreat to see Sarah Jakes. You have some friends that like to do her red things, and sometimes I like to do her red things. So, you know, okay, I want to be on the scene tonight let me call this person right or if you feeling more like a noble night you got that friend that's like yeah let's go to noble tonight you got that friend that's like floor seats and see this person you got some people that's like i'm not paying floor seats you, know, you got different friends for everything you got the friend that you could be going through something and they're very blunt and cutthroat and they you know tell you what to do in the savage terms then you also have those friends who you pick up the phone and you tell them what you're going through and they'll pray on your behalf. They start praying for you. 
they pray for you when you can't pray for yourself right? you pour into your friends your friends pour into you just make sure whatever friends you have just make sure it's genuine on both ends and make sure you show up for them how they show up for you and vice versa right? you don't have to bring everybody around your family you don't bring everyone to your home that's a big number one rule everyone does not need to go to your house you don't need to go to everyone's house and you just have to know the limits on your friendships i'm all for of course like i say your day ones your a ones the people you grew up with a lot of us have like cousins and stuff who's our like best friends but don't be afraid to expand your friendships and don't get don't be afraid to meet new people along your journey in life because again as you get older even certain things within yourself is going to change as we get older we're going to like different things in life we're going to meet different people in life and that's totally normal so embrace those new friends as i said as long as everything is reciprocated it will all work out and just be open-minded because i'm all for like i said a ones day ones your best friends but just also don't limit yourself to those people expand get out there meet new friends I know it may be uncomfortable a little bit in the adult life because you also don't know what this person's intentions are. Be cautious, of course, be aware. But if you feel like someone is genuine, don't be afraid to build that friendship because you never know how far it could go. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know my energy is not all there. I know I look a little crazy, but this is Wind Down Wednesdays. And again, I wanted to show up for you as well as for myself. So... Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and if you have not done so already, make sure you subscribe. And just let me know how you feel about having new friends, making new friends, or are you a no new friends type of person. I will see you guys on the next episode of Wine Down Wednesdays.